Hi, I'm David from Clearvision Systems. This is the VDV Mapmaster 3. I'm going to show you some basic network cabling tests that can be performed with this meter. First of all, the meter is has RJ12, RJ45 and F-type connector built in. It also has a removable remote, which also has the F-type, the RJ12, and the RJ45 connectors. So let's see what type of tests can be performed with this meter. I'm going to first of all do an open circuit test on a cable. This is useful for measuring length and very useful for measuring cable on a drum. So this result here tells me that all eight pins are connected. The cable length is 8.5 meters. It's measured four pairs. What it's also told me is that the length of the four pairs that it's measured are within 10% of each other. Um, otherwise it would have come up with an error and it wouldn't have read one end. So let's just take this cable out, plug in another cable, test this one. So here it's tested the four different pairs and it's come up with a different length for pairs four and five. Let me test another cable here. So this cable, this cable is 8.5 meters long. Again, it's the open-ended test. All pairs have been tested. So let's see what happens when the remote is connected to the far end. That will give us access to more specific data. So I'm just connecting this to the far end of the cable. Okay, test again. It's now telling me that the ID number of this remote is number one, which is always the case when the remote that is included with the meter is tested. You can also buy additional remotes uh, numbered two to eight so that you can measure cables in situ without having to walk backwards and forwards changing remotes all the time. Cable length is 9 metres, it's unshielded twisted pair. The tick means that the meter has found no problems with this cable. Um, all pins appear to be connected fully, uh, 1 to 8, and at both ends. So what happens if we introduce a fault? Okay, so I've put a fault on pin 7 and now quite clearly the meter displays the fact that there's some problem with the cable. Pins 7 and 8, pairs 7 and 8 are no longer connected. And pairs 1 to 6 are okay. Let's change that fault now. Test again. Now this time I've shorted pins 7 and 8 and so I get the flashing pair and also the error message with an indication of that a pair is shorted. Okay so I've now reversed the wiring between pin, pins 6 and 7 which will have an effect on pairs that are connected to 3 and 6, 7 and 8. So let's see what the meter says now. So now it's telling me that there is a miswire, um, there are split pairs and it's identifying that cabling 3, 6, 7 and 8 um, are at fault. So that's straightforward cable testing. 
if I want to test the crossover cable. the tick to introduce the next test. This tells me that the um, we are testing the crossover cable. You can see that the wire map has changed to show that the pins are different. Pin wiring is different in this case. Remote number one is connected. Remote number one is connected. But we get a tick because the overall cable performs as expected and is 9.5 meters long. The units of measurement for distance can be changed. So we can set units of measurement. So the length unit here, press up or down to select either feet or meters. Um, select feet press OK and then go back to the test and the result has now changed to 31 feet. In the same way we can change capacitance so if we have a known length of cable um, in this case 31 feet let's say we know this cable is 30 feet long click OK. We can change the capacitance used for the measurement. And if I change the capacitance, go up to 15, then the length becomes 30. So we know that's correct. Press OK and come out of the setup mode. So now the result is reading 30 feet. So if I'm always using the same cable, I can be assured that the meter will, meet, re, will read accurately for any distance of cable that I, for any distance measurement of that cable. So you may have noticed that when I test crossover cable, I get the tick indicating that the cabling is wired that the cable is wired correctly and I get the same tick when I'm testing straight through cable but this meter has the facility to allow me to select when I want that tick to appear. So if I'm always testing straight through cable, I can go through a sequence of buttons, select data, and change the type of cable that I'm looking at. So if I'm I can step through all the cable types, so uh, it's set currently to cable any, so any cable that's wired correctly um, with any cable that's wired with all pins connected, no shorts or opens, will produce a tick. So I can change this now so that only crossover cable, unshielded crossover cable with four pairs in it appears with a tick. So here I've still got the straight through cable connected. It's reading, uh, it's giving me an error message and it's saying that the error message is that this isn't a crossover cable. So if I revert now to my crossover cable, Test again. Now it's identified that I'm measuring a crossover cable and it's given me the tick here. So finally a function that's been added to the MapMaster 3 
um, is the fact that I have backlighting on the display and also a little torch there to illuminate the work if I happen to work in the dark. Okay, I know that's been a very brief discussion on the VDV Markmaster 3, but I hope it's given you some idea of its functionality and its usefulness. Thank you for watching.